Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. Today I want to highlight one of Coifin's most underrated features, and that is the Lots of Charts dashboard. Located under the analytics section, Lots of Charts does what it says on the tin. It's a dashboard that allows you to show lots of charts in one space and use the arrow keys to swipe between pages. Up here on the left-hand side, you'll be able to pull in the securities that you want to look at. So if I click on this, I can take major indices such as the S&P, I can pull in holdings from various ETFs, and I can also utilize watch this as well. So this might be a basket of companies that you're studying. It might be sectors like I currently have it filtered on right now. So you see right now I've got the US sectors and the S&P 500, and I've got it set up to show me the forward price to earnings multiples of all of those securities. If I was to then take the S&P 500, for example, I would be able to see all the different PEs for those companies, and I can use the arrow keys to swipe between the pages. Up here on the right-hand side, you have the ability to change the time period as well that you're looking at. And this options filter here will allow you to change the layout of the page. So you can see here on the left-hand side, we've got chart templates. So if I wanna show normalized performance there, for example, I can do that. I can sort this list of companies by performance high to low or market cap. And I can use this page layout button to change how many charts are inside of the dashboard. So if I want to show 16, I can do if I want to. And up here on the right hand side, we have the sector filter. So if I'm looking at a big basket of companies like the S&P, for example, I can click consumer staples and it'll just filter down on those I can click financials, it'll do the same. And if at any point I want to add or take away various sectors, I can just click them again, or I can clear all to just get rid of all of those filters. Now, the beauty of lots of charts is that you can really personalize this and set up your own view. Brand new Coifin users or people that haven't created a chart template before will just have the historical price chart and the normalized performance. If you remember at the start of this video, I showed you the PE. That was a chart template that I created, and we'll go over that in just one second. But just to give you a flavor of what you can do here, here is a chart template that shows you the revenue and gross profit over time. Here is one that shows you the volume of share repurchases and the change in shares outstanding. Here's one that shows the share price and the 50 and 200 day moving averages. Here's the forward price to sales with the high, the low, and the median in the chart as well there. And here's one that has more of a fundamental focus. So if you've got a lot of stuff going on in the chart, like here we've got revenues, gross profit, EBIT, free cash flow and margins, it might make sense to consolidate the number of charts you have on the screen. And if you're flicking through a personal basket of securities that you own, it might make sense to have this fundamental focus. So now I wanna show you how to create a chart template so you can start maximizing the value of this feature. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to the chart tool and this is where we're gonna create our template. Let's say we want something that focuses on how of an equity performs relative to its consensus expectations with revenue or EBIT or something like that. We can build that view in here. So we're filtered on Amazon right now, which is fine. And we've got two data series in here. What I'm gonna do is quickly delete those and we'll open up the data series menu again. For, for this one, we're gonna go asset specific. So let's say we want to look at the sales actual versus estimate over time. We'll click that, pull it up. So now what we can see here for Amazon is a running library of every time they've reported quarterly sales. We can also see what was expected, what the actual result was, and the surprise as well. There's another data series in here, which uh, is complementary to this one, and it's just down the bottom. It's called Sales Actual uh, versus Estimate Surprise. And we want to show this as a percentage, and we'll have that running along the bottom there. I'm going to just change the, the label so that it matches the data in there. And we'll do the same for this one up here as well. One nice thing to have in a chart like this is a an overlay of the share price or the, the sales figure. So we're gonna go ahead and do that too. I'm gonna to go in here and type in total revenues. And because we're displaying this data on a quarterly basis, we're gonna also display the revenues on a quarterly basis. We're gonna use this button here, which is merge, and we're gonna push it into this panel here. So I have to click that twice. There we go, I've got an overlay of the sales and we're gonna do some formatting and make that look nice. So what I've done here is just made the, the line thicker by using the settings here in the data series. I've also made the grid lines a bit softer so we can see it more clearly. And now all I'm gonna do that I'm happy with this is I'm gonna save this template and I'm gonna call it revenue actual versus estimate. 
We'll go ahead and save that. And now when we go back to lots of charts, we're going to be able to pull this in for any basket of companies that we're looking at. So if I go up to options here again, I'm just going to go down to the bottom where all my chart templates are. I'm going to pick revenue actual versus estimate. So now that I've pulled in that chart template, I can I can view that for this basket of securities. I can change the time period if I want. If we want to look at more companies here, I can change it to eight as well. And we can quickly just flick through all of these different securities and get some context on that. So there's just an insight into how you can really maximize the value from lots of charts. If you're constantly looking at price action or you want a fundamental glance of loads of companies at once, the possibilities are really endless depending on what you build in a chart template. That's how you maximize the value of this feature. I hope this has been helpful. And as always, you can reach out to us at Coifin Charts on Twitter. You can email our help desk, help at coifin.com, or you can comment directly below this video. Thank you.